everyone and happy weekend. It is Friday. I just got home from work. We had an intense, intense eight hours of training today. Needless to say, my mind is just like completely burnt out. Um, but anyway, I'm so happy that the weekend is here and it is Labor Day weekend. So we get Monday off, which is also an added bonus. Um, so far, I don't have anything really major planned. Um, a few things here and there. Um, I told you guys in last week's vlog that the guinea pig got adopted. So that was really cool. Um, so she is all adopted and all set um, in her new home with her litter mate. And I just got notified by the rescue today that um, early next week, I'm going to be picking up a pair of girl guinea pigs and I am so excited because my favorite guinea pigs are the long haired ones and one out of the two I know for sure is long hair and she is beautiful as far as guinea pigs go. So I'm really excited about that and I'm really excited to show you guys what she looks like. So maybe I will include a little bit of that in this vlog, um, just kind of run it you know, a little bit uh, more so during the week as well to keep you guys updated. But right now I am going to have some supper and just kind of relax with Snooki. She was home alone all day and I hate leaving her home alone for long periods of time. I feel like it would be different if I had two dogs, but it's only her. So I feel kind of bad that she's home all alone um, without a mate as well for her. So so yeah, so I'm going to be lighting up some candles. I have um, one Goose Creek candle that I'm testing now. I'm expected to get a pretty damn big box um, sometime in the middle of next week. I know it's shipped, so I'm excited about that. And it includes the brand new Halloween candles and some extras from a line that um, is going to be coming up. I believe in January and um, I'll give you guys a sneak peek of that also when I get that uh, box and do that video so yeah so right now I'm just going to get a little something to eat and relax and watch YouTube videos and spend time with my dog hey guys so I just wanted to show you real quick the Goose Creek candle that I'm kind of reviewing right now I got a major response from my group um, members asking me to burn this candle and review it since mason jars are going to be coming back to Goose Creek. So this one is in Blackberry Bourbon and I took several pictures that I have posted on my Facebook group of just it burning and how um, the wax pool was forming throughout and I've had really really good luck with this candle. Um, with it being such a small candle, actually this one is uh, bigger than uh, the Bath and Body Works candles that are in the mason jars. But anyway, for this candle being so small and I have it in my bedroom, it's doing really, really well. Um, the burn is really good so far. This is just the second time that I've lit it. But um, I also want to point out that the wax pool on it was nice and even and deep, but yet the candle wasn't hot to the touch. Some people were saying that the old mason jars um, or some of the ones that they got from Tuesday morning from Goose Creek um, or Burlington from Goose Creek were very, very hot to the touch and it got so hot that they were scared um, to burn it any longer. But this one is giving really excellent throw and I'm really happy about it.
good girl. Everyone, so it is Saturday morning at 8.30, and I decided to light up my candles even though it is so, so hot outside. But right now, I am burning by Kringle. This is a two-wick crystal pillar in the scent Gardenia. And at first, this candle wasn't as strong as I thought it was going to be, but this is the probably third time I'm lighting it, and oh my gosh, I just walked into my bedroom, and it's just like an overwhelming scent of floral gardenias, and it hasn't even pulled out all the way yet. I literally just lit it probably about a half an hour ago, so really impressed with this one so far. And then here is my honeysuckle bouquet in my bathroom. I don't know if you guys remember, last weekend in the vlog, I was having a lot of problems. It was tunneling and I was scared it wasn't going to pull out, but it actually did pull out on second burn. So I don't know why it did that, um, but yeah, it's doing pretty good now. And then in the guinea pig bedroom, I have this little mason jar by Goose Creek. This is in the scent Blackberry Bourbon. And as you guys can see, it is doing fabulous. Um, the pool is going really nicely. I literally just lit this about probably an hour ago, and we're already doing really, really good. And the smell is amazing, too. And then in my bathroom here, my first bathroom, I have garden party going. This is a swirl jar by Yankee in Midnight Jasmine and Garden Sweet Pea, and this one is doing really good as well. I really love this one a lot. And then in my living room, I have by Goose Creek Pumpkin Pie in a two-wick. This one is super nice. Um, it's got a really nice scent. I don't know. I did not end up doing um, a review on this one, and I really don't know why. I probably should have, but it's doing really nicely, and the smell is amazing. So yesterday when I was at my work meeting all day, I just wanted to show you guys what we got. Uh, one of the guest speakers had passed these out and basically said that we could take it any way we wanted, um, but it was just kind of like a little saying that pertained um, to your life and everybody's was different. So this is what mine said said, just when you think you know exactly how it's going, some unexpected possibility shows up and it begins to get even better. So I am so excited about what's to come. Um, I have some really, really good ideas coming, um, you know, that I have up my sleeve about uh, videos and partnering up with different companies. So I'm excited about that. But um yeah, so I just wanted to share that little saying with you guys. Saturday breakfast is served. Hi everyone. So I just got done filming my uh, wax empties video, and that went really good. I don't know why I wait so long in between to review my wax empties, but for some odd reason, it's just like not top priority, I guess, on my list. Snooky's gonna go on the bed over there. Aren't you snooks? Oh gosh. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I did that. Um, I'm waiting for my huge package to arrive from Goose Creek, and then I will be filming that video as well. And then um, my mom is going to be coming over sometime this weekend, and um, she wants to film her Goose Creek haul. I'm still trying to, like, kind of politely instruct her to talk more in her videos, but um, I don't know. For some reason, she just really likes making them. Um, but what else? Oh, and then my daughter is going to be coming tomorrow and we're going to be filming the foodies, uh, type video. So that will be up on my channel soon. I plan to post those videos, um, sooner than my lineup. I'm going to fit them in there somewhere. God only knows where, but, um, yeah. So right now I really need some coffee and I need iced coffee because it's like 80 degrees here and I had no ice this morning. So I quickly did the dishes, filled the ice cube trays, and now I am waiting for my ice to form because I don't have one of those refrigerators that shoot out ice right away like my mom has that at her house. And I really would love that luxury, but I don't have it. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll wait for the ice cubes and then we will brew some coffee.
are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on with you? What's going on? What are you doing? Are you being sassafrasses? Are you being a sassafras? Huh? What are you doing? Look at those teeth. No oh, snucks. What's mama gonna do with you? Is that good? Is that a good bone? Okay, you guys, so my ice finally firmed up, and I am going to brew some iced coffee. So today we have Door County. Um, this is in the scent, or the flavor, pumpkin spice, and this is a limited edition. I actually found a store in my area that carries this, so I'm really lucky about that. And now there are two stores in my area that carry this. But anyway, so my ice cup is right under there. This is from Starbucks. Uh, yesterday I got the pumpkin spice latte. Um, they just came out with that at Starbucks. So I saved that and washed it up. And then I'm just going to be pairing it up with this. Um, this is Roundy's plain French vanilla. It looks really cloudy like that because it is so cold. Um, just to let you guys know it's not dirty. But anyway, um, I cannot wait until all of the pumpkin creamers come out at the grocery store because I'm going to have to buy some more coffee to pair the creamer up with the coffee. But anyway, so let's get started. That's also uh, what the K-cup looks like here, just in case you guys are wondering. Now let's test it out. Oh, you guys, the Door County coffee is probably the smoothest coffee I have ever found in the K cups. So, if you guys can find the Door County coffee in your area, I highly suggest trying to find it. If you cannot, you can always go to doorcountycoffee.com and order it online. But really, it's the smoothest, most flavorful coffee I've ever tasted in my entire life from any company. So I have these little treats for Snooky. Snooky, you need to sit, come over here. And I've been trying to get her to do things. Come over here so everyone can see you. Okay, down, good girl. She just engulfs the treats though. High five, high five, high five, high five. Up. Good girl. Okay. Sit. Well, that's down, but I'll take it. High five. Oh, dear. Chew it. No, they're all gone. Hi, everyone. So it's going to rain here. It's looking a little cloudy outside and the wind is starting to pick up, which is a good thing because it is so hot. Um, it has been really, really humid here today. But anyway, I am taking holiday, I know holiday, Halloween. I'm taking some Halloween pictures of the Goose Creek candles that I got um, from the company and I just kind of want to show you guys what I found. I have to clean some of the stuff off, but... I found this cute little pumpkin. I just think that he's adorable. I think I remember filling him with candy last year. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. And then um, I forgot I even had this. My owl warmer. Oh, my God. I love it. I have a big owl warmer, and I think it broke. 
what happened? Something happened to my big owl warmer. I know I had a big one and a little one. And I think it did break. And I think maybe it got too hot. Snooky. Jesus Christ, you guys. I swear to God. Okay. So anyway, she keeps on barking. I can't help it. You know how it is. Um, and then I found this. This is... Um, you know, just like leaves. There's an acorn in here somewhere. Um, there's pumpkins, you know, little pumpkins, stuff like that, that I can just put around the candles because I got a box that I really wasn't expecting to be that big. So I'm happy about that. But, um, and I filmed, you know, the actual like first impression. And now um, I'm just kind of like adding pictures to it. I'm telling you guys, a lot goes into this stuff. There's photos, there's video, there's, you know, me thinking of my words that I need to say, um, trying to get Snooky Louise to zip it. My mom came over. I don't even know if I told you guys that or not, but we filmed if I did then. Oh, well, sorry. It's been a busy day. Um, it's five o'clock here and... I'm not even really hungry. I had, like you guys saw, my breakfast this morning. I didn't have any lunch, and I'm on my third cup of coffee. Oops. You guys, I'm addicted to coffee, and I'm not addicted to decaf. I'm addicted to caffeinated coffee, and I admit it. It's a problem. It's a problem that I'm probably not ever going to fix. Um, I admit I'm addicted to coffee. What's that one thing like where you're in AA or whatever and you have to go up and there's like seven steps? wonder if there's seven steps for addiction to coffee. That's not funny. That's really not funny. And I'm not making fun of anybody who has a real addiction because that's like, that's really serious. But I do feel like I am addicted to coffee. But anyway, so I'm going to take my pictures now and pray and hope for the best that they turn out. I'm going to put this video together, get it uploaded. Um, you guys have already seen the video, but right now I am here a week before taking the photos and telling you guys about it. So um, I will check in a little bit later on and yeah, we'll go from there. Hi everyone and happy Sunday. I'm just getting my warmers out here and I actually did some fall decorating, believe it or not. Um, someone had posted on my Facebook group saying, who's all getting ready for fall decorations? And that is literally all it took. Um, and I got all of my Halloween and fall decorations out. But anyway, I'm getting ready to fill up all of my warmers here. And please excuse the table. I am going to go to Home Goods today, um, hopefully sometime today, and see if they have any Halloween tablecloths um, as I need one because I don't have one left over from last year. But in my warmers, I decided to choose Country Bumpkin by Candles from the Keeping Room and everything else is by Better Homes and Sensationals. I'm just kind of going to do like a little mixology going on here. So we have Warm Comforting Kitchen, Spiced Pumpkin Pie, Cornucopia, and Cinnamon Spice. And then I'm not sure if I remember showing you guys my little Aluma lid with the scarecrows and the pumpkins, but I got that out today as well. Um, and I'll show you some of the other stuff that I have. So this is my scarecrow that I have. Um, she is sitting next to a pot of flowers and leaves and such, uh, fall time. And I really like her a lot. I think she's super cute. So I just have her sitting kind of next to my TV here. I also got out my crisp apple strudel candle by Yankee. I cannot wait to burn that. And then I have a little ghost in the background. And then over here I have my scary witch and she's holding a broom. Um, I'm not finished with this table yet. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it. But I also have this scary kind of haunted house. You can put a little candle in there also, um, a little tea light. And then over here I just have my Goose Creek uh, pumpkin pie candle as well. And then over here, I'm not done with this at all. Um, I have to rearrange my leaves and such. I just kind of put them up there, but I have some fall flowers, little sunflowers and such. But like I said, I'm not done because I think it looks like crap right now. Okay, all my warmers are set for the day and I am about to turn everything on. 
I also started burning the Goose Creek candle. Um, sorry about the lighting here. It's really super, super bright, but I have this out with my pumpkin and I can start to smell it already. And the three wicks are pooling out really, really nice. And then in the guinea pig room, I have this little puppy going. I don't know if you guys can see here. It says poison berries. Um, this one is doing super as well. We had lots of oil on top here, as you can see. And this candle is really jumping right now. And then in my bedroom, I have graveyard mist going. This is also a really good candle. Um, things are starting to happen. And I love that label, it is so spooky. So I lit up this cinnamon sugar donut. This is in one of the mason jars from Bath and Body Works and it is doing really well. As you can see, there's no tunneling issues, but unfortunately I cannot smell a thing. I don't smell like literally anything. It's like a scentless candle. Happy Labor Day, my friends. Today is September 1st and the start to fall. So I am going to start to Nutribullet again. Um, I've kind of been getting off track with my eating. I've obviously gained a lot of weight as some of you guys can um, see in my videos, but um, I am going to be working on that again. Um, so let me just show you guys what I am going to be eating this morning. Um, in my Nutribullet so far, I have a banana, some chia seeds, um, some strawberries, and some cinnamon. And I'm just going to be adding some almond milk to that also. So I'm going to have that. And if my banana looks a little like funky to you guys, you guys can see this banana here. Obviously, it looks a little cray cray. Well, this banana was frozen. And the reason why I do that is because it is well known that bananas don't give you the, or I should say um, non-ripe bananas do not give you the optimal uh, cancer fighting, you know, benefits um, only if you see brown spots on your bananas. So basically what I do is I buy you know, a whole bundle of bananas and I wait until I see those brown spots and it, you know, starts looking a little funky, like kind of right when you would maybe use it for banana nut bread. And what I do then is I put the banana in the freezer and I freeze them so I can use them for my smoothies. So uh, basically what you have to do, you know, put it in your freezer and then wait a little bit until, you know, when you take it out when you're ready, until the banana is still frozen, it's still firm, but then um, it kind of is easy to pull away. You kind of have to work with it a little bit with a knife, with the skin. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to have that. And then also over here, um, I don't know if you guys remember this from last year. This is my pumpkin spice tea that I got from Target. I really wasn't a big fan on this, I remember, but I'm going to try it again. So I'm doing a double um, shot here because of the fact that... Um, because I remember it being not so strong. So... Let's get this going. So the tea bags are in there and I am set to go. I'm gonna add a tiny little bit of almond milk to this as well with no other sweetener because I'm trying to watch um, also what I consume sugar-wise. I feel like I've gotten addicted to sugar again, which is a bad thing. Um, so I kind of want more natural sugars instead of, you know, the processed, uh, you know, white sugar that we all see. So, okay, so that's going on and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Okay, let's blend this son of a bitch up. Whoa. Okay, so here's what the finished product look like. looks like. Um, I feel like it's really super thick, and that is why it kind of did that. Maybe I should have used water instead of almond milk, but it's almost like ice cream. I don't know. It looks really good. Hi, everyone. So um, it is obviously still Monday, and I'm just home doing laundry and relaxing pretty much 
for the rest of the day I have no set plans I was gonna go shopping and then I thought you know what I really don't need anything so the only thing that I really do want to do um, at one point in time is maybe go to home goods and see if I can find a tablecloth and also a centerpiece for my table and maybe some placemats um, I did call there though and they did say that they didn't really have uh, any you know tablecloth or anything like that with like leaves on or such um, so I don't know I'm gonna have to kind of maybe shop around a little bit and see what different stores have but um also another thing I wanted to share with you guys that I shared in my group is not only now do I have Netflix but I have Hulu Plus so all you Hulu Plus people out there let me know what you guys are watching right now I'm watching Finding Carter and I'm just kind of catching up on the episodes I think there's only six on here and I'm not real sure how many episodes are or have been released so far but any good TV shows leave a comment down below and let me know what I need to catch up on I really haven't um, had my cable now since well I haven't had my cable all summer so anything really that kind of came out this summer that is on Hulu right now let me know and I will catch up otherwise um, I'll show you guys some of the candles that I'm burning today I did accomplish to record two uh, candle reviews today um, but obviously I don't do the voiceovers until the candles are completely done so I'll show you those right now so this is going on in my living room right now. This is Yankee Candle in the Scent Crisp Apple Strudel. It is in the food and spice category and oh my gosh you guys it smells so good here in my living room and look at the wax pool. It is amazing. Super strong candle. I also have Mocha Nut Latte burning here and Oh my gosh, you guys, this one is super, super strong. I believe the pour date on it is either 2009 or 2010. I'd have to check, but it is so strong and it smells so good in here. And then I have this Aluma lid on top with the acorns and the leaves. I just thought that it was really fallish. Hi everyone. So it is Monday um, after dinner and I decided that I'm going to make one of these um, mixology candles only I'm going to use the same scent all throughout which is ginger dusk um this is a UK exclusive or European exclusive and um I got it at the outlet they had the votives there so I quickly grabbed three of them just for this purpose so let's light them up okay so I unwrapped them and put them in the mixology dish Remember, if you guys are burning votives, to never burn the votive um, or never trim the wick of a votive because, as you guys will see in a little bit, it burns down on the wick extremely fast. So never trim the wick on a votive on the first burn. Um, and make sure also that your votives, if you're putting them in the mixology dish, to push them way to the edge so the wax can fall in between the cracks and that just ensures um, an even wax pool and uh, no tunneling. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me this weekend. Make sure to um, keep on watching because I'm going to be showing you the Instagram photos for the week. Don't forget to uh, thumbs up this video and comment and subscribe. You guys know the drill. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.